So hey guys in this video we will be solving problems based on the transfer function that is something about using block reduction method how to find the transfer function that is equal to c of s by r of s okay so c of s is nothing but the output sitting over here r of s is nothing but the input sitting over here so we have to find the ratio of both so how to first you have to reduce this entire block which is in the middle okay then only we can find c of s by r of s so let us proceed so what is the first step you have to look into this before this video if you have not watched the rules for block reduction method kindly watch that then only you will be understand it more clearly okay so first step always remember when you go for block reduction method you have to look for series or parallel blocks always remember series or parallel blocks now in this problems uh, problem if you observe here g3 and g2 are in parallel <coughs> g1 and g2 g4 sorry g1 and g4 are in series so this is in series and these two are in parallel first what we are going to do we are going to reduce that into a single block so how to do that so you you might have watched the uh, you should know the rules first of all i'll draw again this thing so here we have one summing point okay here r of s is sitting now here again one summing point okay then we are getting here g1 and g3 g1 and g4 okay g1 and g4 what i am going to do how to solve the series g1 and g4 are there just you have to multiply the blocks so you will be getting what g1 g4 just multiply when they are in series you have to just multiply yes now next here uh, these two are in uh, parallel so g3 and g2 are in parallel so how to do that you have to convert into one block so you have to just add whenever the blocks are in parallel just add them so g3 plus g2 i can write okay simple thing now what is left out here here c of s is left out okay fine i hope you got it now here one feedback loop is already here so we'll draw that also so one feedback is there which is h1 okay h1 is there which is going towards the summing point here plus sign is there be careful with the signs also okay plus sign is there plus minus everything you have to uh, denote and one more feedback loop is there which is coming from output side towards the this summing point right towards the summing point here in between who is sitting in between h2 is sitting h2 is sitting okay so i hope you got it now this is the first block reduction step we have done so basically we have converted it to single blocks now what else we can do now second step we have to look for first step is what you have to look for series or parallel second step you have to look for any minor loops are there any internal loops are there so we have to reduce the internal loops or we can say minor loops okay so inside this block if you observe this part this part this entire part is one minor loop i hope you got it how to identify minor loop starting point like this it will come and ending point like this it will come that means one feedback will be there over here so why we are not taking this also because i said it is minor loop first inside part you have to solve then we'll go for outside part for small loops you have to solve then we'll go for bigger ones so how to solve this one we have already discussed what we have to do we have to uh, apply the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the the closed loop system transfer function which is nothing but g of s by 1 plus or minus g of s into h of s okay so let us apply this formula to get this one so again we have to draw the summing point over here which is sitting plus minus then this block this block will be reduced into which kind of form so i have to draw that form i will be rating this as g1 g4 by 1 minus g1 g4 into h1 this is my block okay here who is sitting then here g3 and g3 plus g2 is sitting and the output is sitting over here from this i have to take one loop which is going towards the summing point of this thing which is nothing but what h2 okay h2 now what i have done here this step you need to understand carefully now basic thing here is that this is now this part is nothing but g of s this part is nothing but h of s substitute in this formula what is g of s g of s is g1 g4 so i have written g1 g4 in the numerator divided by 1 
plus or minus now which sign i should put looking into the the sign of the summing point here also one sign is there here also one sign is there which sign we have to take whatever the feedback loop is coming feedback loop is coming from here which sign it is facing it is facing plus sign so here what you need to understand plus sign if plus sign is there you have to put minus sign so it will be one minus if minus sign is there then you have to put plus sign okay this we have discussed earlier so anyways so one minus then what you have to do g of s what is g of s g1 g4 so i have substituted g1 g4 then what is h of s h of s is nothing but the feedback gain that is nothing but h1 so i have put here h1 this is how i got i have reduced this part now don't get confused where is the summing point and all is going basically we have reduced that entire thing into this form this single block now again if you observe you can clearly see that this block and this block are again in series right they are in series directly connected so what i can do again i can apply that series concept so third step again we'll apply what series concept so i'll draw this again so here plus summing sign came so this block i'll reduce into one single block so these two are in what series series means what you have to do multiplication so i'll just directly multiply so g3 plus g2 i have to multiply with this entire thing which is nothing but g1 g4 by 1 minus g1 g4 h1 i have to multiply with that okay this is entire block okay now here we are having what c of s so this we have converted into single block now below who is sitting one feedback loop is sitting that was sitting from the first step itself that will draw feedback loop which is coming from here so here who is sitting feedback h2 is sitting okay no no okay so here now what is left out here i have one block here i have one feedback which rule will be applying here again the second step see we solve the minor loop how we solve the minor loop same concept you have to apply here so one gain block is there and below which one feedback is there here one summing point is there so done so we can we can solve directly just you apply same concept which is g of s by one plus or minus g of s h of s okay same concept so now we'll reuse the last step last and final step we have so summing point will be gone so what we'll be getting we'll be getting uh, one single thing which is g of g3 plus g2 okay g of s i have to write first so one uh, g1 g4 by 1 minus g1 g4 into h1 okay h1 this is g of s divided by 1 plus or minus is there so which one i should put here you can see summing point here here i have got what minus sign so i have to put here which sign i have to put here plus sign so it will be 1 plus g of s what is g of s again the same thing g3 plus g2 this entire thing will come again g1 g4 by 1 minus g1 g4 into h1 into h of s what is h of s here h of s is nothing but h2 here okay h of s is nothing but h2 here okay no need to put a brack uh, the square bracket just put one curved bracket okay now here who was sitting here who was sitting here it was r of s here who was sitting here it was c of s i have to get the ratio simply you have to write the ratio as what c of s by r of s is equal to this entire thing this entire thing okay that is your final answer let us simplify that thing don't get confused c of s by r of s you have to write the last simplified block itself always remember now we'll simplify here this into this i'll multiply so what will happen i can write it as g1 g4 into g3 plus g2 same thing i'll write divided by 1 minus g1 g4 into h1 whole thing divided by denominator who is sitting here we have got 1 plus 1 plus g3 so again same thing i'll write uh, g1 g4 into g3 plus g2 divided by uh, h2 is also there okay h2 divided by divided by 1 minus g1 g4 h1 now here can i take lcm right lcm i can take when i take lcm what will happen so this will be g1 g4 into g3 plus g2 divided by 
1 minus g1 g4 into h1 whole thing divided by now when i take lcm what will happen here it will get multiplied so it will be 1 minus g1 g4 h1 plus g1 g4 into g3 plus g2 i'll just shift to this page what h2 same thing i'm writing okay divided by divided by what was my lcm lcm was 1 minus g1 g4 h1 now if you see this part and this part will get cancelled because both are same so what will be my final answer that you can write it as c of s by r of s will be equal to so let me just write final answer c of s by r of s will be equal to g1 g4 if you want you can uh, multiply and keep it okay so if, you want, if you want you can multiply otherwise leave it as it is a uh, 1 minus g1 g4 h1 plus g1 g4 into g3 plus g2 into h2 will be my final answer if you want you can multiply also okay this thing okay if you want you can multiply but uh, anyways it is fine here also so this will be my final answer okay i hope you got it let me just quickly uh just tell you what happened here so how to approach the problems that is that is very important if you practice problems it is quite easy because by seeing the figure itself you can understand what you have to do always remember first you have to go for series and parallel blocks this was one simplest problem uh, problem i have taken first next next videos will be getting more difficult to more complex problems okay take off point and all we'll be discussing now here always remember first step always should be series or parallel blocks you have to solve always remember okay then we can go for minor loops everything we can come across if you solve the problems uh you, you will get some ideas okay that ideas you can utilize for other problems as well